What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. Uh, this is your daily meditation for Thursday, October 15th, 2020. This morning, I'm going to read to you from John chapter 10, verses 9 through 15. And as I read these verses, really imagine um, Jesus saying these words to you. Imagine Jesus saying these words to you and notice what feelings arise uh, as, as you hear them. And I'm gonna get out of the way so you can look at the stained glass, beautiful stained glass uh, here in the church. John chapter 10. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. He will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand is not the shepherd who owns the sheep. So when he sees the wolf coming, he abandons the sheep and runs away. Then the wolf attacks the flock and scatters it. The man runs away because he's a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. I do wonder what feelings come up in you when you hear those words from Jesus. Out of all those verses, what I hear the most, the message that I'm hearing from Jesus is, he says, my purpose is to give life and give life in all of its fullness. I know you, Jesus says. I know you and you know me and I lay down my life for you. It's amazing to me to realize that Jesus is saying these things to us, to you and to me. He's speaking these things about you and about me which is incredible. Something in me, well, I don't know how to put it. The, the idea, the truth that Jesus comes to give life in all of its fullness just strikes me as really good news. Does it to you? And so I think, how can that be his purpose, to give life and, and give life in all of its fullness and at the same time, um, uh, that, that his purpose is to come and judge, or his purpose is to come and condemn, or his purpose is to come and sentence, or his purpose is to come and execute. It isn't. It isn't. This isn't what Jesus says. His purpose is to come and give life and give life in its fullness. And not only that, this idea that he is the good shepherd and he says, I lay down my life for you. I lay down my life for the sheep. Um, this is just incredible. If you think about it, God gives us life. God gives life to communities through Jesus Christ. Uh, Jesus gives life to us as individuals and as, as families. A life is breathed into the world through Jesus, and it's by him, uh, his pouring out of his own life. We receive life uh, because Jesus gives up his life lays down his life. You see, there's like an exchange almost. Jesus gives life by letting go of himself. Well, that's very interesting. Maybe there's something to that for us. In order for us to give life, in order for life to be infused in our relationships, in the issues and troubles that are surrounding us, maybe that means that we need to give up ourselves in the same way. To participate in giving life in its fullness, right? I think that's what we're invited to do, to participate in that giving that Jesus is already doing and has been doing and will continue to do, thank goodness. And we do it by letting go of ourselves, letting go of um, ourselves, but not before we remember that Jesus did it first. Jesus never invites us to do something or participate in something that he hasn't already done or initiated. So let's be grateful for being known. Let's be grateful for 
um, being given life and life in its fullness. And may God open us as individuals and as a community to everything that God has to give and open us to participate in this action of giving life by letting go of ourselves. Grace and peace, my friends. See you next time.